Moving on now after uh, being a firefighter always has its risks, so keeping firefighters safe is always of the utmost importance. Now, thanks to a grant, Bryan County is getting some help in doing just that. Our Dave Williams reports. It's a great time for the folks at Bryan County Emergency Services. With a tight budget, any financial help is much appreciated. And they now will be receiving a nearly $620,000 grant from the Assistance to Firefighters Grant Organization. That money will be used to buy brand new self-contained breathing apparatuses for all of their firefighters and paramedics. The units that we had before, or the units that we currently have, are outdated, obsolete. We can't even get them updated anymore. So we're pretty much in a pickle. To be able to get this grant was great. Being able to purchase the new breathing apparatuses is also great because it enhances the safety of the firefighters. It's dangerous enough, but we want them to be in the most safest, newest equipment with all the bells and whistles, the newest technology there is. If we can keep them uh, in that uh, equipment, that's what we want. This grant, though, is not only beneficial to the firefighters and paramedics at Bryan County Emergency Services, it helps the citizens of Bryan County as well. These air packs, as expensive as they are, this is going to help the county out tremendously, having not having to come out of pocket, per se, to pay over $600,000 for new SCBAs. We look for ways to help offset the tax dollars so uh, it gives a relief to the taxpayers. And so that's one of the things I'm most proud of. In Bryan County, Dave Williams, WJCL 22 News.